Welcome to the next session of the pharmacology discussions and today's topic of my discussion will be mainly upon the antipsychotic drugs. So students, these antipsychotic drugs, they have been given two another names. They are also known by the name of neuroleptics and they have been given another name that is they are also called as the atarectics. So students, this video will be mainly concerned about the classification of the antipsychotic drugs and as to how we can very easily remember about the classification of the antipsychotic drugs. So students, before getting into the detail for the classification and the mnemonics for the classification to uh, rememorize these antipsychotic drugs, I would like to give you a just... Uh, uh, neuroleptics and ataractics. So students, neuroleptics are those class of the drugs which are going to reduce the nervous tension by depressing the nerve functions. So students, neuroleptics are those drugs what are basically used in the treatment of uh, in the pre uh, treatment of psychosis that is in the patients who are uh, psychotic them is the drugs and they these uh, drugs they are going to uh, cause reduction in the irrational behavior the confusion the mental illnesses what are mostly seen in the patients of psychosis and lower down the these confusion and anxiety of the psychosis patient by depressing the psychomotor activity so students this was a uh, 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 just a one-line definition and, and an understanding for neuroleptics moving on to the atarectics. So the atarectic drugs are those drugs which are going to uh, which are the literal meaning for this atarectics it is the tranquilizers. So most of the drugs what are used in the treatment of psychosis the patients who are given these drugs they are going to somewhat soothe and calm down the patients of psychosis going to somewhat provide a tranquilizing effect. They are going to calm down the patients. They are going to re cause reduction in the anxiety and a kind of confusion. What is mostly seen in the patients of psychosis without causing sub uh, sedation. So students, uh, these atarectic, the literal meaning for this atarectic is that these drugs are going to have a tranquilizing or a soothing effect on the patients of psychosis. So students beginning with the classification. So the classification of the antipsychotic drugs becomes very difficult to remember, particularly in the when we are asked to write about the classification in the various professional exams, then the classification becomes very difficult to class uh, put the drugs in different different classes. So the mnemonic or the short trick what I have made here, it is the alphabet that is A, B, top. So A, B, top, just we can make out the entire classification by just remembering the class, uh, mnemonic that is A, B, top, where A and B the first two drugs and T-O-P, the initials of these letters that is T-O-P and A-B are going to refer to one of the classes of the drugs. So students, since alphabets A and B are the topmost alphabets of the alphabetical order, so the mnemonic what I have made is the alphabets A and B are the topmost letters of the alphabetical series. So beginning with the classification. So students, the first A of the AB is going to refer to the atypical neuroleptics. So under this category, we are going to have the very famous drugs that is the clozapine, the olenzapine and the risperidone. So the most of the class, most of the, the very famous drugs of the atypical neuroleptics, they are going to end with the suffix apine, apine, clozapine, the olenzapine, they have the, they have the suffix that is pine, pine uh, uh, after them. So uh, these are the two classes where uh, the very famous drugs of these classes, they are going to have the suffix in the form of P. Moving on to the B of the AB. So the first A I have covered, the B of the AB top is going to refer to the butyrophenones. And these butyrophenones, the very famous drugs under this category, they are the haloperidol, the trifluperidol and the droperidol. 
the bitter of anons can be very easily remembered just because students do remember this i have um, underlined these three words the peridol the peridol and peridol so they are going to have the suffix peridol against them so the butyrophenones they have the three very famous drugs ending with peridol whether it be the haloperidol the true peri true peridol and the droperidol moving on to the t of the top so the initial top the T of the top is going to refer to the thioxanthine class of the drugs. And these thioxanthines, the very famous drugs under this category comprises of the thiothysine and the flupenthizol. So students, this is the uh, T of the top, moving on to the O of the top. So the O here is referring to the other heterocyclic compounds the heterocyclic compounds the name as itself is referring that these are the chemical compounds which are going to have a heterocyclic uh, structure. So these other heterocyclic compounds comprises of the very famous drugs that is the reserpine and the serpine this has been the most Pre, uh, ancient drugs. This was the most ancient drugs what has been used in the treatment of psychosis. So the reserpine and the loxapine, they are under the category of the other heterocyclic compounds. Moving on to the last but the very important classes of compounds, that is the phenothiazines. So the phenothiazines, they have been subdivided into three broad categories depending upon the side chains what they are having. So if they are going to have the aliphatic side chains, the piperidine side chains and the piperazine side chains. So students, the phenothiazines can be broadly subdivided into these three uh, sub uh, classes. So amongst them, the pheno, the first class that is the aliphatic side chains, the very famous, the very commonly used drug in the treatment of the patients of schizophrenia. They are mostly treated by this phenothiazines and these phenothiazines amongst them the aliphatic side chains the very famous example for this class is the chlorpromazine and the trifluopromazine so this chlorpromazine it is the very famous the very most commonly used drug of choice in the in the patients of schizophrenia moving on to the second class subclass that is the piperidine side chain so these phenothiazines they're going to have ending with the piperidine side chains they're going to possess and, uh, and under this category the very famous drug what is used it is the thioridazone and moving on to the last class of the drugs under the phenothiazines that is the piperazine side chains the under this category we are going to have the two very famous drugs what are used it is the trifluoperazine and the flufenazine so students this was the short discussion about the mnemonics as to how we can very easily memorize the antipsychotic drug classification by remembering the initials that is A, B, alphabets A and B are the topmost letters of the alphabetical series where every alphabet of the A, B and T, O, P is going to refer to one of the classes. The A referring to the atypical neuroleptics, the B refers to the butyrophenones, the T refers to the thioxanthines, the O to the other heterocyclics, and the P refers to the phenothiazines. So students, this was a my discussion or the mnemonic as to how we can very easily remember so, uh, this, this classification of these antipsychotic drugs. Students, if you do have, if you do like this video, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to comment in the comment section. Friends, if you do like this video, just share it amongst your friends and thank you for watching. Do comment me in the comment section for the more upcoming more videos what you want to be discussed in the pharmacology discussion lectures. Thank you for watching.